We are here today at the famous Alaska State Fair. We know the best part about any fair is the food. And one thing that has been super popular lately is freeze-dried candy. So I'm on the hunt for all the freeze-dried candy booths and I am gonna show them to you guys. So in case a freeze-dried candy business is something you're interested in, you can kind of see how they look like. These giant licorice ropes are so good. I've done a small local vendor event just at my kids' elementary school with my freeze-dried candy business, but I've never done a huge event like the State Fair. This one's closed. Or is it backwards? I do want to try this. This is a very famous Alaskan food truck. Two days ago. Or yes, yeah, something like that. Candy. I see. We have cotton candy at home. Oh, I why can't I fly? But yeah, I'm also do look good. So so far we found one booth that has offers some free dried candy. Those were $17 tubs of a little variety pack. Which is kind of the going rate for like the oh, fair geez. price. But we now have to check out the animals, and this is the cutest hand washing station ever. <laughs> well, we could go this buy a raffle for uh, half a cow. Yeah, you should do that actually. tickets which are these ones were a dollar is for either a hog half hog or a turkey and then a half cow which that's the one I'm really hoping for what do you want to show me oh are they eating lettuce yum I see a free shred candy sign Cute. So their prices in that little booth were nine dollars a bag. They had an awesome variety of different candies. Looked really cute. But now we're um, gonna do some rides, I guess. So our first fair meal is cold pork mac and cheese. That looks really good. Yes. <laughs> now that we're all full, time to check out the reptiles. <laughs> well, we haven't seen any more free shred candy booths yet, but my favorite exhibit is where we are now, which is... I want that cloak. The cloak. Books, Bria. That's cute. Above. Okay, this is my favorite one. Look what we found. Oh, I want to see all purple bags. Oh. <laughs> candy stand it had a really cute packaging I was very impressed and their candies all looked very good their prices were ten dollars per bag or three bags for twenty five dollars it's just to give you an idea on pricing at big events like this they definitely have to charge more than maybe you would if you were just selling like personally because there's high fees involved with being in a state fair well now we are waiting for this circuit show to start Ladies and gentlemen. So right now is the way off of the giant pumpkin contest. Yeah. Alaska State Fair does giant vegetables and stuff. And right now they're weighing the pumpkins, but there's a big crowd we can't really see. Our next 
treat has been cookies, and our boys are waiting on some Choking. very expensive milkshakes. How is it? Thank you. Lincoln, show me. This year at the fair, we're doing all the shows. So now we are heading to the Lumberjack show. Jack show, Lincoln, show us what you got. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't seen more freeze-dried candy vendors. We're still on the hunt. We found the fair garden, which is something I love to see. Oh, look at these. Look, Lincoln, what's under there? Uh, onion. Onions. Isn't that cool? They pop out of the ground. Sure Don't pull it out. We're not allowed to pull them. Ooh, that's kale. These, I think, are beets. Oh yeah, see them? See the beets in there, Bria? Are you gonna eat them? No. Is there any mint? Oh, Ooh, look how big Brussels these sprouts. Are. Is there mint? Mom, look how big these are. Ooh, mom, look at these onions. Oh my gosh. Those are huge. Are these carrots? Is this mint? Don't pick anything. I don't know what it is, honey. Um, we should have bought a chair. Like for that ten dollars. Oh, I wanted a free one, but you guys didn't raise your hands fast enough. You, they would have picked someone, yeah, from only his side, huh? That's the same honey company where I bought that whipped honey from. That was so good. Oh, that's cute. Dude, I want the flying saucer, man. I want this spot in that corner. Are they allowed to hop in here? No. I want to. Has anyone had a donut burger? That's a little intriguing. I'm full, not gonna get it, but looks good. Okay, I did find a Harvest Strike freeze dryer booth. Going out of like Big Lake area, somewhere by like kind of Burma. Okay. Uh, and should be going west out. We need more roads. Yep. That's what the last thing is. Definitely more roads. Uh, well, that was really cool. They're here um, fighting for a local cause here in Alaska to sit in a road system, I guess. But they are doing a raffle for a Harvest Strike freeze dryer, and it was $5 for a raffle ticket. So I had to buy one. I mean, maybe I'll get a new freeze dryer, which that would be awesome. So I didn't find any more freeze dried candy, but we found a freeze dryer. So, I mean, that was pretty exciting to see. Drive it out the Oh, that'd be fun if well, I drive it. we've reached the exit of the fair. I think that wraps up Alaska State Fair 2024. So hopefully that gave you an idea of what a freeze-dried candy business could look like if that's something you might be interested in. Mom. I just thought I would see more businesses selling, but I don't know, maybe it's regulated where they could only have one vendor at the event, so there's not like tons of competition. But I don't know, at a state fair, you think there would be more options. Maybe it'll be me next year. No, 
the event would be way too big for my capabilities, but you know, you never know. I hope you enjoyed coming to the fair with us and we will catch you all on the next video. Bye. But like the uh, uh, Mini horses sometimes wesley are. Are we down this way?